good morning, good morning, good morning. This is the Let Us Thank God LUTG Radio Morning Show with Kathy Brooks. Let's win some souls, play some music, and have some fun in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, hey, hey. God, hallelujah, hallelujah, praise the Lord. All right, y'all, we are up to segment number two. This is Kathy Brock, all of me, amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord, Jesus is Lord, glory to God. I am so happy to not uh, be dumping the water uh, from the tub to the toilet, just to flush the toilet. Oh, goodness, that reminds me of the outhouse days. I'm going to go outside to pee and poop in the winter. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, me. Oh, we. I mean, <laughs> it's almost somebody had it. Somebody that did it quick. Oh, wait. You probably waited till it till got to the tip to go out there. Like, oh, we got to get this out of here real quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. To so all the folks out there, they got to deal with the outhouses. And some of y'all still do. Um, now, some of y'all build these cabins, and you want to be all rustic, and you don't put a toilet on the inside. Bruh, please, put a toilet on the inside. Now, some folks just don't have the means, and some of y'all living in, living in these tents and these cardboards. Keep on praying, because we praying for you that God will, amen, give you a mansion on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Praise the Lord. I see a lot of these uh, stories on TVN and CBN and and um, the uh, 700 Club, and they're showing folks that are living in, you know, shanties. Those are where they have those little shacks, little cardboard at the top, or tin for the walls. They have tin walls made of, like, tin for garbage cans, that kind of tin. And they have families in there, lots of people. It's terrible. Anyway, so keep on praying for them, y'all, because God is a deliverer. He's a way maker. Amen. Remember God, uh, remember when uh, Moses led uh, the people out of captivity and he led them into the wilderness and uh, they were supposed to go to the promised land. It was supposed to take seven days, but it took 40 years because all they grumbling and all the things that they were doing. Uh, and uh, all the all the adults died in that 40 years. The adults died, but the children rose and grew and those are the ones that received the promised land. So, you know, God will wait for a seed to bud into maturity and then give you give that seed, that fruit, the blessing. Yeah, he will. He patient. He got all day. <laughs> he is not bound by time. So don't cross him. Because he, he can wait he can outweigh you any day, any year. He can outweigh you. Because he ain't bound by time. So Whatever you do, you wrong, just repent, just repent, just repent, just give it to them, because you ain't going to win. You ain't going to win, trust me. You ain't going to win. All right? All right. Uh, uh, and, uh, oh, also, send out some love to Tia and Tamara Mowry. You can check out their official website at TiaAndTamaraOfficial.com. Yeah, that's their website. And uh, they're twin sisters, and folks are hating on them. So definitely show them some love. It's it's crazy. Folks are hating on them because of who they choose to love. Ain't that stupid? Call them niggers and whores. And see anybody start calling y'all your name like that, they jealous. So ladies, don't stop doing what you're doing. If you love to act and perform and be on TV, do it. Folks are just jealous of you, baby. And if they call your husband a, 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 a nigger lover or a white this or a cracker, they think he hot and they don't know any other way to say, I wish he was mine. Forget them. Forget them. I know that sounds stupid, but listen to what they're saying to y'all. What they're saying is stupid. So, you got to, you know, 
Take everything with a grain of salt. Stupid, you don't listen to. Stupid, you don't let it control your life. You you stay positive. Take the high road. Because haters can't stand it when you take the high road. Right? So take the high road. Be like, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm-hmm. I'm going to keep on doing my show. Because there's plenty of people that like our show. They love our movies. I'm one of them. Love your movies. Amen. So keep on making those movies for a lifetime. Love them. Love your TV show. Still watch it when it comes on. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. <laughs> ah. Oh, my goodness. We got my piece coming up about halfway through. Halfway through. And we got the altar on the last uh, five minutes of the segment. And we got some music for you. Here is the future T360. Amen. Then we got a little bit of the juice to make it happen. I love them. Oh, hallelujah.
LUTGradionetwork.com, y'all, amen, become a sponsor of this radio show, amen, become a sponsor of LUTG Radio Network, you can do it, it's real easy, just go to LUTGradionetwork.com and uh, click on advertise, uh, click on sponsor, uh, I'll put up some more links, something more visible and flashy, bling bling, working on that, but uh, just do that, you can even, uh, I, I, that's the preferred way. Uh, do it through PayPal. That way I can keep a good record. Amen. I like to keep good records. 
I definitely appreciate your uh, support. No matter how much you give, I appreciate it. Uh, it's not tax deductible. I am not a not-for-profit. It just seems that way because I don't have a whole lot of money. <laughs> All right, y'all. So support LUTG Radio. I appreciate it. Here is my piece. I bet you thought I forgot, didn't you? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Um, here's my piece real quick. Now, you know uh, my background is uh, I have uh, uh, siblings and uncles and aunties that are uh, homosexual, gay, lesbian. And I grew up around it, so it really doesn't faze me. I know it's a spirit. I've always known that it's a spirit. Even since I was little, I knew it was a spirit. I could tell. I could see it. I, I just knew that it was just on the inside of me. That's the spirit. Now, um, I myself am not gay. Um, I do not even pretend to be gay. I don't try and take women's money by befriending them because they're gay and trying to, you know, make them think that I'm in love with them or that I'm feeling them. I don't do that. I also don't do it to men. I don't befriend them because they're gay because they need a friend and then take their money. That That's so wrong. I'm giving you these examples because these are examples that I've seen growing up. I've seen people do this to folks that are coming out and saying that they're gay. Um, because it, sometimes it could be a lonely life. And um, I'm saying this to say it's because I don't misrepresent myself to gay or straight. I, I just don't do it. So to all you folks out there, and I'm not going to name any names. One, well, one, I don't know all your names. i just been noticing women uh, kind of lurking around me. <laughs> you got to remember, I grew up with it. So lots of times I can tell when you're lurking. And lots of times I'm ignoring it. So because I'm not trying to egg you on in that way, I oftentimes I don't say anything. Or sometimes I just try and be my friendly self that I am. And sometimes people misconstrue that. Please, hear me loud and clear. I'm not gay. I will never be gay. That is not my intention. But I respect the fact that you choose to be gay. That That's your choice. I'm, you know, I'm not going to knock you for it. You know what I mean? I'm going to offer you the same salvation that I will offer somebody that is not gay, somebody that's straight. You know what I'm saying? The, the lives that people live are their own, and it's not for me to tell you how to live it. I can only give you the word of God and tell you the truth and let you make your own decision. For me, that's the best thing to do. Let you make your own decision. Because Jesus let me make my own decision. Now, true enough, I did get a little bit of special attention. But we all get a little special attention. Jesus saved my life on a number of occasions. I am truly appreciative. I've seen parts of hell. You don't want to go there. Trust me. Believe me, you don't want to go. Alright? But that being said, what people do with their lives is entirely up to them. It's free will. It's a free choice. Now, will every homosexual go to hell? I don't know. I'm not God. God has mercy on who he'll have mercy upon. He doesn't like the act of sin, the spirit of sin. He doesn't like it. No matter if you're stealing something or if you're lying and cheating on your wife, or your spouse, whatever. He doesn't like it. So really, don't let your whatever you're doing stop you from talking to Jesus. Talk to him. Ask him for yourself and find out. But you find out about Jesus for yourself. All right, I'm I'm not, you know, trying to be all sensitive to people's emotions, because as you know, I'm not truly that sensitive. I would rather walk on the side of righteousness than try and be sensitive to somebody's hurt feelings, because again, hurt feelings are just emotions. When you can't stand to hear the truth, you're not really hurt. That's just a spirit of denial. So, really, um. Y'all can, if you see me on the street or whatnot, you can come up and say, hey, I ain't got no problem with that. I talk to everybody. I ain't got a problem with it. I even came across this Muslim in a store, and it was two of them, two guys, real tall. One was tall, one was short. And I was speaking to them because they was asking about the food that was being given out free over there. And the tall one was like, I ain't going to speak to her because he knew I was a Christian. 
And the other one's like, man, forget that. She just told me that's on sale. I was going to buy it. I thought it was, you know, he was like, man, she just helped me out. Because he was going to, you know, get something that was more pricey. He wasn't sure. And I was like, dude, it's on sale. Four bucks off. He's like, for real? Straight. He got like two or three of them things. Because I, I helped him out and I showed him the ad. He's like, cool, thanks. So you get one person that won't talk to you because of your faith. And then you'll get another one that'll be like, man, I appreciate it. Uh, look, I ain't, you do what you want to do. I'm going to do what I want to do. So, you know what I'm saying? You just got to let people live. Let people figure it out for themselves who they want to be and what they want to do. Jesus never put, he never forces himself on anybody. So I'm not going to force Jesus on me. Feel me? Alright. So we cool, y'all. We cool. So if you see me out and about, say hey. Here's Tierra. Amen, Alan. When you're in love. Get that altar call coming up for you in a few short minutes.
planted, forest enchanted, protecting your mind with God given in hand. I take flight at night, use my infrared eyesight in search of a place to perch until I find my next flight. I scan the land to see who needs a hand. I go wherever I am needed on God's command. I stand at attention. I know no apprehension. I am quick to make an entrance whenever warfare is mentioned. Fighting off the foes of those that oppose the one who rose. I serve as guardian to the chosen. When I spot my next rescue, it's as if time is frozen. I swoop down real quick like demons scheming, slick like Rick Bite. Little do they know that they're in for a fight. Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him, yes, this is the altar call, should not perish but have the everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So therefore, salvation is available to you, and it's for you. Jesus died on the cross for you. He took the punishment that was yours. So you wouldn't have to. Salvation is offered to you completely free. So if you would like to receive Jesus Christ into your heart, now is the time to do so. Repeat this prayer after me and come in agreement. Amen, amen. Raise your hand and put it over your heart. Lord Jesus, I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. I confess my sin before you this day. I denounce Satan and all his works. I confess Jesus as the Lord of my life. Thank you for saving me and for bringing me back to where I once was. From this day forward, Lord Jesus, I will be sensitive to how you feel. I won't hurt you. I will obey you. Lord Jesus, I ask you to present me to Jehovah in your name. Lord Jesus, I believe with my heart, I confess with my mouth that you rose from the dead. That I am saved and receive you today wholeheartedly, 100%. Make me a light in a dark place and from this day forward, I will leave this place and share you with everyone I meet and everyone I know. It's commitment, Jesus. I will get this world for you. I pray this prayer to the Father in the name of Jesus. I receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus with evidence of speaking in tongues for the edifying of the body of Christ Jesus by the will of Jehovah God. Amen. Amen. Congratulations. Amen. Amen. Go to LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Click on the link. Find the church. Get baptized with water. Take your foundation class and your prayer intercessory class. And for all you folks that want to support LUTG Radio, you can do so by advertising on the show or simply becoming a sponsor. All right, check it out on LUTGRadioNetwork.com. Amen. Follow me to segment number three, which is the first days. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To the highest praise.